Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We are going to wait for the others because uh, we are not complete. So we are going to wait like a couple of minutes to the others to come to the meeting. So Good don't evening. worry. Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. One more minute and we are going to begin with uh, the things that we are going to do uh, today. Remember that we were talking about the adjectives. In this case, we were like uh, talking about the adjectives related to the um, physical appearance of the people. So in this case, we have two different activities and we have the first one that is uh, the continuation or the second part of the activity that we were performing yesterday in which you were like um, talking about the physical appearance of some people that we have on the document. And we are going to continue with that part. So in this case, we are not going to do it like um, <clears throat> like yesterday in the same way. In this case, we are going to change a little bit the, um, the way in which we are going to continue with that part because um, Yesterday, we were like one by one uh, talking about the physical appearance of the people. But in this case, we are going to do it like in group. So all of you, it's going to help me to construct um, the uh, ideas about the physical appearance uh, of these people that we have on the document. And also we have the second activity in which we are going to play. You have on the group the different examples of questions that you can ask um, to your parent, partners when we are like um, playing that game. Tenemos, verdad, la continuación de lo que es la, la actividad de ayer, solo que ahora lo vamos a hacer de una manera un poco diferente porque ya no lo vamos a hacer uno por uno, sino que vamos a eh, hacerlos en conjunto, ¿verdad? Ustedes me van a ayudar a completar la información de las personas que nosotros tenemos en el documento. No vamos a ir uno por uno, ¿verdad? Preguntando, ah, tell me the physical appearance of the other people. No, in this case, we are going to complete a, a table. Vamos a completar una tabla, ¿verdad? Con la información. Good evening. Con la información de las personas que tenemos en el documento. Y luego tenemos nuestro juego. We are going to complete the game. Tenemos ese pequeño juego en el que vamos a utilizar algunas de las preguntas que ya vieron ustedes en el grupo de WhatsApp. So in that case, you have different questions that you can use to... Um, Fine, which is the person that we are going to um, like describe when we are uh, playing. So I think we are going to begin because um, we have just one hour and we have like five minutes. We were uh, waiting for five minutes. So, um, we are going to begin right now. Vamos a comenzar con la primera parte. Let me show you the document. I have the table there. Tengo yo ya la tabla hecha en el documento. Like this. Let's see. 
like this, like this, like this. Okay. We have 28 numbers. Tenemos los 28 números que corresponden a las imágenes que tenemos en el PDF. So, in this case, if you can access to, um, <clears throat> to the document, you can see the uh, different images that we have there. So, you are going to open the document. Vamos a abrir el documento. Vamos a tomarnos un par de minutos para analizar la physical appearance of the people that appears in all of the numbers. Vamos a tomarnos un par de minutos para analizar, ¿verdad? Lo que es la apariencia física de cada una de las personas que aparecen ahí. Then you are going to tell me some of the physical characteristics of these people. Ustedes me van a ir dando datos, ¿verdad? De la apariencia física de cada una de las personas que aparecen en el documento. Después de, de analizar, ¿verdad? La physical appearance. Ustedes me van a dar sus detalles y yo los voy a ir agregando en lo que es la tabla. Así que vamos a tomarnos un par de minutos para irnos, ¿verdad? A ver las fotografías que tenemos en el documento. We are going to look for the number one, number two, two, number eight. Y después de un par de minutos, I think we are going to take like five minutes. After the five minutes, you are going to tell me some of the characteristics that, that you can see on the photos. And I'm going to write like a short list of um, adjectives that you can use to describe those people. Vamos a enfocarnos bastante en adjetivos, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué adjetivos eh, le podemos poner a cada una de esas personas? Entonces, we're going to take five minutes. Vamos a tomarnos cinco minutos para... Eh, Revisar, ¿verdad? Las fotografías que aparecen en el documento. Después de los cinco minutos, ustedes me van a ir diciendo adjetivos que eh, pueden utilizar con esas personas y vamos a llenar nuestra tabla con esos adjetivos. Así que nos tomamos cinco minutos para analizar, para ver, para pensar eh, qué adjetivos puede utilizar cada una de estas personas que está en el documento. Después de los cinco minutos voy a ir preguntando para que ustedes me vayan dando qué adjetivos le corresponden a cada una de las personas. So, we have five minutes to um, see the images that we have on the, pla I mean, on the document. And then we are going to construct our table based on adjectives. Uh, it is 8-8, 8-13, 8-14, 8-15, 8-16, 8-17, 8-18. Ustedes me van a ayudar a dar los adjetivos que corresponden a cada una de esas personas que aparecen en el documento. So, we have five minutes to construct our ideas.
Okay, we are going to begin with this activity. Uh, we have the number one. So you can think about um, different words or different adjectives that we can use to describe the person that is in the number one. So if you have some words that you can use to express or to um, like describe this person, can you please mention some of the adjectives that we can use um, to talk about the person on the number one? Algunos adjetivos que podemos utilizar para describir a la persona que está en la posición número uno. Me teacher. Tell me. Um, she has curly hair. Hair. Okay, curly hair. Uh, mm -hmm. Black, black eyes. Uh huh. Black eyes. <clears throat> and big mouth. Okay, very good. Thank you. Muy bien, excelente. Así lo vamos a ir completando, verdad? Ya tenemos el primer ejemplo en el cual están, verdad? Um, Dándonos detalles. Curly hair, cabello ondulado, ¿verdad? Black eyes, ojos negros, and big mouth. Una she boca ha, has, grande. Tell me. She has a uh, few lips. Two ah, different. yes, of course. But wait, we are going to uh, write three different characteristics. Vamos a ir escribiendo tres características o tres eh, cosas, ¿verdad?, específicas de estas personas. Vamos ahora con el número dos. Who has something about the number two? He's a tallest man, teacher. Tall. I think so. He's a yeah. tallest man. Okay, tall. What else? Very funny, too. Um, he is funny, okay. What his else? Face, I think this round face. A round face. Mm -hmm. Round face. Very good. A, a big ear, too. Ah, big ears. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And bold. And bold. And bold. Yes. Yeah. Big. I, I mean. Obviously. Ears. Yes. And bold. Okay. Very good. Excelente. <clears throat> ok, next one, number three. Para el número tres, ¿qué palabra podemos utilizar? Lo pueden ir escribiendo también en el chat, no se preocupen, vamos a ir agarrando también del chat. Number three. He has short black hair. Short black hair. Very good. What else? Oval face tissue. White skin. White skin. White skin. Uh, tell me, do you say something different? Oval, oval, is oval ah, face tissue. Oval face. Bird. Ah, he has a bird. Oval uh, face. And mm, short uh, beard. Podemos decir también una barba corta, ¿verdad? Very good. Muy bien. A funny person. A funny personality. It could be. Okay. Number four. Vamos con el número cuatro. It's a girl. In this case, it's a woman. Para el número cuatro, para la eh, persona del número cuatro. She is pretty. Ah, pretty. Very good. What else? Long hair. Okay, long hair. Very good. I think teacher she's uh, hooked nose. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, vamos a agregar el color. Long brown hair. Something else. Algo más. Una más, una más. Beautiful smile. 
Ah, beautiful smile. Beautiful smile. Very good. Muy bien. Vamos con el número cinco. En voluptus tu tissue. Ah, yes, of course. Of course. Number this five. Is, this, is a, this is this kind of objective maybe for personality to teacher. Yes, it could be. Uh, it is not just for something physical. You can use something about personality. Right. She has light brown eyes. Okay, very good. Ah, in this case of the, the girl on the number four. Yes, yes, yes. Number five. Light brown eyes. Perfect. Jung Meng. Okay. Tell me. He's a young man. Uh huh. He's a young man. He's a thin person. Thin. Mm -hmm. Medium black hair. Medium black. Black hair. I have something on the chat. Give me a second. Uh, ah, tall, handsome. Uh -huh. Tall and elegant. Ah, tall and elegant. Very good. Handsome, uh, tall, elegant. And slim. A slim, very it's good. Slim. White skin and a slim. Ay, skin. Okay. Number six. Número seis. For the number six. Square face t-shirt. A square. Uh, I think so. Square face, uh-huh. She is a broad smile. Bright smile, okay. Okay, something else. White the skin. What is skin? It could be. What is skin? Dark eyes, teacher. Dark eyes, okay. Very good. Okay, number seven. And the long, long brown hair. Ah, long brown hair. Very good. I mean, like this. Okay, number seven. He's tall. Tall, very good. Okay. A dimple. That holes in this part of the face are called dimples. Young. Medium nose tissue. Medium nose. It's not like too long, really. Mm -hmm. Medium, right. medium, medium nose. Hmm, it could be. Ah, my God. Nose. He's thin. Thing. Okay. Very good. Number eight. Vamos con el número ocho. Number eight. Another woman. Very famous, by the way. Are you brown? Mm, brown hair. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> Curly hair? Curly, eh, kind of rebel. Curly hair, okay. Mm, Rowdy hair t-shirt, I think so. 
Mm, it could be. Red lips. Red lips, okay. Uh, in this case, don't don't feel like um, I don't know. You can use the words. Uh, she's an adult, but you can also say that uh, she's old. So don't worry about that. Why? Why skin teacher? Uh huh. <laughs> um, likely ten. Podría ser. Está como un poco bronceada. Puede ser una una buena característica, pero en este caso vamos a ponerle white skin porque es bastante clara. She is serious. Very good. Middle, Number... middle age teacher? Um, Maybe. No, it's middle age because she is... Um, really? But no not es... oldest. Ajá, not no, not es... oldest Ajá. no es tan uh, mayor, pero sí ya no está en middle age. She's in the flower of the life tissue. Of course, of course <laughs> she is. <laughs> okay, number nine. Someone said something about this guy uh, yesterday, so we can just um, say some words, three or four words related to his appearance. Ayer alguien ya mencionaba um, algunos detalles de la apariencia de la persona en el número nueve. Ahora solo podemos decir unas tres, cuatro palabras que lo representen para pasar al número 10. So, in the number nine. <clears throat> Another China. Um, it look like Chinese. Black hair, okay. In this case, we are going to write Asian. Black hair. Asian. Slim man. A slim. Okay. Long black hair tissue. Mm -hmm. It is like not long, long, but we can say medium. Medium, that's right. Uh -huh. This is the right word. Thanks. Medium black hair. Very good. Yeah, ah, it could be. It looks like very young. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Ah, someone said straight hair. Good. And a good player too. Oh, sí. Él es bastante bueno. Straight hair. Okay. Cabello liso. Very good. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. I think we are not uh, going to complete. <laughs> that is like a, a very uh, funny uh, way to, to say something. <laughs> it's kind of uh, 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 funny if you can ask. Um, thick, in this case, uh, cuando estamos hablando de alguien que tiene como bastantes um, o, o muy poblada las cejas, podemos decir que tiene thick eyebrows. Tiene las cejas gruesas. So, en este caso es thick, like this, thick eyebrows. Short burn, okay. Ah, mustache, okay. Okay, okay, sure. Most, most touch. Uh, square face. A square face. Uh, yes, I, I have this one, the first one. Thick eyebrows. Así es como se escribe. Aquí se ve un poco raro porque no está completo. Pero es así. Thick eyebrows. A square, a square face. Blank look, uh, okay, black, long hair, I think, no, yes, I think he is, yes, blank, uh, I mean, black, long hair, very good, 
Um, this one is he like a, a person. A person. Oh, uh -huh. a pierced nose. Pierced nose. Okay. Like this. Very good. Um, he is like, a, I think it is a, uh, um, in this time because I, I am like kind of. Estoy como un poco desactualizada con eso, but he is a YouTuber and he is like exploring different cultures around the world. Um, the videos that he made um, are very interesting because you can learn a lot of things uh, related to different co uh, cultures. Um, cuando es... En este caso, cuando es muy colocho, como que se hacen los, los rizos solos, o son los cabellos que están como un poco espantados. Porque si es eh, colocho, colocho, sería, um, sería curly, pero si no está definido, uh, porque a eso me, me, me refiero, ¿verdad? Um, we can say like uh, it's kind of complicated if we can if we can uh, use like si es el cabello espantado así como que los pelitos verdad si salen podemos decir como scare hair como cabello asustado podríamos de decirlo nosotros verdad porque eh, alborotado eh, ajá como alborotado verdad que se salen los... I think the rowdy is the the right word for this kind of hair, this rowdy hair, I it think could, so. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We can use different kind of uh, words, but in this case, like that kind of hair that you have like a lot of uh, hairs outside your um your mane, uh, they, when you are using it, your, your hair like, uh, Cuando ustedes ya se han peinado y todo eso y aparece con esos eh, pelitos o eh, que se espanta muy rápido, le podemos decir también eh, skirt, con doble R, skirt hair. También se puede utilizar esa. Ok, number 11. No vamos a hacer los 28 porque nos llevaríamos mucho tiempo y tenemos una actividad extra. Así que vamos a hacer hasta el número 14. Vamos a hacer la mitad. Y luego vamos a continuar con nuestra segunda actividad. Así que, number 11. The better word that I find for this picture t-shirt, I mm -hmm. think that she's an angel or not. <laughs> it look like. Ah, uh -huh, we can look, say that. Look like an angel. Ah, uh -huh, look like an angel. A small nose, okay. A small nose. And we can use angelical image. It could be like this, angelical image. Una imagen angelical. What else? Gray, gray eyes t-shirt. Ah. I Vamos so. a, a darle un plus. Vamos a ponerle beautiful eyes. She has earrings. Earrings, okay. She's using earrings. But in this case, it's like, uh, yes, she has a pierced nose. <clears throat> Full lips. Full lips, okay. Esto de los, el, el ejemplo que da él del full lips, eh, no es simplemente, ¿verdad? De decir, ah, she has like this kind of uh, makeup. En ese caso sí tenemos también diferentes palabras para referirnos a los labios, ¿verdad? También hasta para eso tenemos adjetivos, así como eh, lo ha dicho él, ¿verdad? Los full lips son aquellos labios que son un poco más eh, carnosos, ¿verdad? Porque hay slim eh, lips, que son los eh, labios bastante um, delgados, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso ella no los tiene tan delgados. Eh, someone said fleshy. Fisher and thin, thin is the positive of, of this kind of full slip lips. Thin. El, -I -N. Slim. Yes. The positive of full lips, right? Yes. This the is the positive. Is the positive, yes. All right. Thanks. Nice, nice age browns. 
Ah, nice eyebrows. Okay. We have another uh, word that we can use that are the fleshy lips, que son los labios carnosos. También se puede utilizar. Así que podemos ponerlo por acá para que ustedes lo vayan viendo. Fleshy lips and I'm going to uh, right here. Great eyebrows. Like this. Okay. Number 12. Vamos con el número 12. It's kind of a uh, complicated in this case because you need to be very um I don't know. Uh you need to, to uh, see the details of those uh people. In this case we have brown skin, brown skin. She has tattoo. Tattoo it. Okay. Tattoo it. I in this case is with an A. Okay. Está tatuado, okay. What small, else? Small nose. A small, small nose. nose. Okay, a small nose. A straight hair. Is ah. He or she? Um. I don't know. That is the point. We don't know if that person is a she or he. That is very interesting too. A straight black hair. A small tall dog. A small dog. Pestaña. Um. Yes, it's not like we can see the the. Um. No podemos ver, verdad, las pestañas casi porque no se le notan. Small tabs. In this case, we are going to use eyelashes. I, eyelashes, small eyelashes, middle age it could be, because we don't know. Ah, ah, ah I'm sorry, I was not reading the messages. Large cheek cheekbones. Dark eyes. Or big cheekbones. Tell me. Dark eyes. Okay. Cheekbones. I see. Big cheekbones, que son las, eh, los pómulos, ¿verdad? Grandes. Black eyes, I think. Black eyes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Number 13. Número 13. Estamos a punto de terminar las descripciones. 13. He is very famous, too. Number 13. Very famous. In this uh, specific photo, what elements can you mention? He has. He has, he has a straight red hair. Ah, okay. In this case, it's a straight red hair. Oh, my God. Uh, straight. Okay. Like this. Ah, oh, British hair. Very good. Blue eyes. Blue eyes. Okay. Black or blonde hair tissue, maybe. Oh, okay. If we can use both because uh maybe it's reddish or uh, it is also um in this case we can have the two different colors. Right. Mm -hmm. Small, small ear. A small ears. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Because it is like um not functioning. Okay, blonde hair, small ears, uh white skin, very white skin. Long neck. Ah, uh, long neck. Someone said big nose. Okay. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher, do you Tell know me. the 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 right word for for the part of the neck uh, above of 
the the beer. I don't know. Uh, it could be called apple, manzana. I uh -huh, don't know uh -huh. the right words. Um, Do you know the right words? Okay. En el caso de que nosotros lo conocemos como eh, la manzana de Adam, lo podemos utilizar como Adam's eh, apple in this case. Adam's apple. Es el, en la parte, ¿verdad? Que se le conoce de esa forma. <coughs> And slim lips. Ok, slim lips. Ok, very good. Vamos con el último, ¿verdad? Number 14. Another very, very uh, famous person. Número 14. Number 14. Big mustache. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Black hair. Black hair, very good. Okay, okay, okay. You're very tutti, teacher. Very? He's a famous single. Uh huh. Tutti. Tutti. Tutti, like what? Chest, chest hair, hey? Mm. Mm -hmm. A long nose. Ah, uh, brown skin. Let me see. Mm. This not like kind of brown, or maybe it's like um. It's not brown, brown, I think. It's kind of, but we can use brown, brown skin. Pero no es como tan brown, sino que it's like a, uh -huh, brunette. It, it could be brunette. <clears throat> yes, he has a... Uh, um here in the chest okay um okay okay good very good okay thank you vamos a dejarlo hasta acá no podemos hacer los 28 porque nos llevaríamos a lot of time and it's like a very long um activity in this case so we have here examples of how to uh, use the adjectives when we are talking about the physical appearance of someone. In this case, we can also have different words for the personality because we have funny, serious, or something like that. So we have here the examples. And uh, I think we are going to like to have um more examples on the other uh, half. Vamos a escribir otros ejemplos después en la otra mitad de la tabla, porque tenemos eh, 14 más, ¿verdad? Para completar los 28. Give me a second. I'm going to eh, put the image here. Voy a poner la imagen que vamos a necesitar para la segunda actividad. So give me a moment because I have the image here. And I'm going to put into the document because you are going to find different elements. Vamos a encontrar diferentes elementos. It's like a game of guess who. I don't know if you are playing something like this sometimes. Es una um, uh, es un juego llamado adivina quién. Eh, um, but uh, the thing is that you are not going to have like uh, real people here. No vamos a tener personas reales en este, en este juego, sino que son imágenes, ¿verdad? Son dibujos. Y no son dibujos, uh, pues, a color, ¿verdad? It is not full color. Um, they are like kind of cartoons. So in that case, we need to, to um, decide what is the best option for us. Les voy a mandar al grupo también la imagen para que ustedes la tengan ahí y la estén revisando, ¿verdad? Hay diferentes eh, personajes en esta imagen. Ustedes lo que van a hacer en este momento es to choose 
your player. Van a decidir cuál es su persona, ¿verdad? You are going to choose who is the person that you are going to represent. Van a representar a una de esas eh, personitas que aparece en la imagen. I'm going to send to you the image right now. It's charging, it's charging, it's charging. Ok, ya tienen la imagen en el grupo. Esa imagen es la misma que está en el documento. So, in that case, you need to choose one of the images that you have on that um, table. Van a escoger una de las personitas que aparecen ahí. We have Sam, Agatha, Antonio, Oscar, Marie, Eve, Emilia, Olivia, Felix, Pam, Ethan, Joy, Clara, Jim, Molly, Fred, Natalie, Tom, Bob, Mia, eh, Jonah, Noah, Lily, Joel, John, Liam, Gabby, Seth, Julia, Zoe, Owen, Anna, Peter, Adam, Audrey, Ben, Lucy, Ian, Emily, Isabel, Brody, Katie, Tyler, Chloe, Colin, Leila, Emma, and Lucas. Tenemos diferentes personas. Ustedes van a escoger uno de esos eh, personajes y vamos a ir escogiendo personas que van a ir haciéndoles preguntas. For example, um, on the group you have different questions. También ya tienen las preguntas en el grupo. Pueden utilizar esas preguntas. Does your person have a mustache? La persona que escogiste tiene un bigote. Does your person have a beard? Tiene una barba. A broad smile, una sonrisa amplia. Um, does your person have a long point um, shaped nose? Pueden preguntar características físicas específicas de los personajes que están ahí. The other person is going to tell yes or no. That's it. Si yo le hago una pregunta a alguno de ustedes y les digo, ah, is your person long hair? Tiene el cabello largo. Ustedes simplemente me van a decir sí. O oh, no. Y vamos a ir descartando, ¿verdad? Los personajes de cabello corto. Nos vamos a quedar con los personajes de cabello largo. Así que vamos a escoger, ¿verdad? Quién va a ser nuestro personaje. Voy a tratar de ponerlo eh, kind of complete because it's kind of uh, difficult here. Pero ya lo tienen ustedes ahí en el, en el grupo. Vamos a hacerlo un poco más eh, pequeño. Like this, I think. Ok, I think it's uh, here. Así que vamos a tomarnos un par de minutos para escoger quién va a ser la persona a la que vamos a representar de estos personajes en nuestro eh, cuadro, ¿verdad? So, we're going to have like a couple of minutes to think about the, the elements that we can ask to the others. We have four minutes. Vamos a tener cuatro minutos, cuatro cincuenta. Vamos a comenzar con las preguntas. So I'm going to choose some of you to ask. You're going to choose the person that you are going to ask. Yo voy a decir el nombre. Usted va a escoger a la persona a la que le va a preguntar, va a hacer sus preguntas y va a tratar de adivinar el personaje. This is just a game. Don't worry about uh, the other elements. So don't worry about that. It is just a game. So we have three minutes. Let's decide.
Ok, we are going to see. <clears throat> Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Let me choose the first person. Um, ok. Henry Guardado. Tell me, teacher. Ok. You're going to choose one of the person that is in the meeting. Va a escoger a una de las personas que está en la reunión. And you can ask one of the questions that you have on the group. Usted puede utilizar alguna de las preguntas que están en el grupo. If that person yes, uh, said yes or no, you are going to continue. If the person say yes, you are going to continue um, asking. If the person say no, you can change the question. Si usted le pregunta, y la persona responde sí, usted puede seguir con la misma eh, línea de preguntas para adivinar quién es el personaje. Si le dice que no, puede cambiar la pregunta. A las dos negativas vamos a cambiar de persona. Ok. Ok. Um, Lil Herrera. Ok. Um, wait, wait, wait. Vamos a esperar a que nos conteste. Henry. Okay, very good. Begin. Okay, uh, does your person have a mustache? No. Okay, we can change okay, the question. Uh, no tiene bigote. Okay. No. Uh, do the does your person have a thick lips? Thick lips. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thick lips, ok. Podemos ir descartando los que no tienen los labios gruesos. Ok, uh, does your person have I a no hair? So, sorry, no, no escuché. Mm, yo creí que eran labios gruesos. Sí, sí, es, labio grueso. sí, sí. es labios gruesos, sí. Está, estamos por esa línea. Ah, bye. Ok. Ok, eh, do you... Does your person have no hair? No tiene cabello. My person have hair. Ah, okay. okay. Tiene thick lips y tiene cabello. Entonces, in this case, pero ya le, le dio dos características. Tiene los labios gruesos y tiene cabello. Puede preguntar por un nombre en específico, tal vez le atina. Um, mm, mm, mm. Eh, quiero ver. I see your person is um, mm, mm, mm. sorry, girl. Uh, Felix. Felix, no. no, no, it is not. It's not okay. Continue. One more chance. Or... One more chance. Una más. Okay. Um, Antonio is? It is Antonio. My person have uh, dark glasses. Oh. And my person have uh, blonde hair. Black glasses, brown hair, thick lips, and hair. Mm, I think I know who is. I think, I think. I think. Um, it's a fe female. Ah, it's a female. So, Henry, what is that person? Okay. Um, I don't know. You don't know? Someone yeah. that uh, has the answer? Alguien que ya tenga la respuesta? Your person is Julia? Yes. Julia, yes. Oh, good. Very good, Claudia. Thank you. Julia, perfect. Now, Leo, you can uh, choose one of your um, partners. Usted puede escoger ahora a quién le va a hacer sus preguntas. Ok. Um... Ana Beatriz. Ok, Ana. Hello, tell me. Ok, Hi. let's go. Okay. Does the person it's a male or female? It's, it's a, a male. It's a male. Male, okay. 
Does the person have a beard? Um, no. Oh, no, no, he doesn't, doesn't have, have a beard. No. Okay. okay. Does the person have a glasses? Yes. Oh, he wears have, glasses. have glasses. Mm, have interesting. Interesting. Does the person have a curly black hair? No. Oh, it is not curly. Your person is set? Set. Um, yes. Oh, yes. good. Muy bien, adivino. No, no, no. No, no is it? No, 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 it's oh. yes, no. Sorry, sorry, no. No, 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 no. Is it? no. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. No, no. Another Your person is a young, young man? Um, no, it's old. Old. It's old, ah, someone that is old. Yes, yes. Alguien que old. ya está un poco mayor. Your person is Bob? Bob? No. no. No, it is not Bob. Oh, wow. Mm, it's kind of complicated. Okay, let's see. Who has the answer? ¿Quién creen ustedes que es la persona que escogió Ana Beatriz? Agatha. In this case, it's a man. Tyler. Uh, Tyler. He has a strange black strange hair. hair. Ah, okay. tiene el cabello listo. Alguien dijo who? Bob? Colin. Colin. Yes. Ah, yes. it's Colin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's Colin. Very good. It's middle age. <laughs> it's kind of. So, Ana Beatriz, you can choose another person. Hello. Ah, okay, Hello, okay. Pepe. Okay. <laughs> Does your person uh, uh, male or female? Um, female. Ah, it's yes, okay. female. Okay. Okay. Um, is your person happy? Mm. Uh, Marvelous. Um, okay. Okay. Um, mm. Does your person have a curly? Curly hair? Cur curly hair? Curly hair. Um, yes. Ah, it's okay. curly. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. I, I can start. I don't know. We have okay. like two it's options, I guess. Okay. Is Agatha? Yes. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> amazing. Very, very good. Okay. Tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? Ya vamos viendo nosotros cómo vamos a ir haciendo las preguntas para encontrar respuestas, ¿verdad? It's kind of funny. We are going to have other participations about this game tomorrow. Vamos a permitirle también a los demás que puedan participar. Así que vamos a hacerlo mañana al inicio de la sesión. Eh, vamos a tener un pequeño, ¿verdad? Break con este juego a iniciar la sesión y luego pasamos con los temas que corresponden para el día de mañana. Don't worry for the others that are not participating right now. We are going to participate on the game tomorrow at the beginning of the session because if you can see, it's almost time to end the session. Thank you to the uh, people that participate in this part of the game. It's very, very interesting to see you asking questions and uh, guessing what is the person that your partner has. 
es bastante interesante, ¿verdad? El juego, porque vamos adivinando, vamos tratando de encontrar elementos que nos digan qué personaje el que está utilizando nuestro compañero para jugar. So, we are going to continue with this uh, funny game tomorrow and we are going to see you on the session number three. So, have a really good night and see you tomorrow on the session number three of this week. Good night. Good, good night. night. You, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you to you because you are giving me your time too. So good night, good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.